Oh, anybody else would do it? I would. I love these tiny fucking records for kids. Dude, you like this? That's a really cute idea. Dude, I got the. Oh, I, got, I think my mom gave me this, I'm pretty sure. A lot of this stuff, a lot of couple of these things, like this stuff, all the like camera stuff, it's from my mom. Because yeah. that's what, like. We did the films and stuff, and okay. so she just kind of showed support through buying me gifts of... That, that, that's like the perfect thing, which yeah. I... Uh, sorry if I was assuming they were coasters. They no, were, they, they <laughs> absolutely are coasters. They look like it. <laughs> I got my yeah. real records over here, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to do a little countdown, and then I'll pop right in. And then we're just going to talk about whatever, whatever it is. Whatever, yeah, man. I'll, uh, Okay. Pretty casual, you know. It's not, it's I dig casual. Big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's not because everything's pretty professional. I like to consider myself semi-professional. I think that you've got a really nice little setup here. Well, thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate that. I try to. I try yeah. to be a comforting uh, place to come into and talk. All right. Uh, let's do this countdown and we're in. <clears throat> and a three, two. You talking to me? I'm talking to you, and this is talking to me, talking to you, and I'm joined by Devin Z Brooks. Hey, how you doing, dude? How you doing? I'm pretty good, man. Th- thanks for coming out. I'm uh, sorry for having that, me. that you had to deal with the the incident you did before you got here. You know, it's part of life, and well, it's important to admit when you are wrong, <laughs> and to say, "Look, I'm sorry. I will uh, pay for my crimes." Right, yeah, right. You, which uh, God, I love that attitude. I, I was, I was actually going to talk to you about that on, on here. Oh, okay. it was like, I love, like, I see all your videos that you post up because you're, you're, you're constantly working, constantly working, and constantly throwing attitude. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, kind, good-hearted attitude. Yes, <laughs> that's yes. the difference than uh, everyone else's attitude. But no, like, I love that because, like. I remember the one specific thing you were talking about a light that you had that it was like working right and probably and you couldn't you know that's the normal oh, yeah. stick they, with you. The lights don't work sometimes. Yeah, but what you did is you ended up like rewiring like an XLR cable to it. And, oh yeah, and rerouting the whole yeah. power system. I was like. Wow, and he's and you just had like this like you're like well my light stopped working and I got a show in an hour so it looks like I'm gonna take thirty minutes to get the light ready and then get back to the show and you're smiling the whole time make the light ready like it doesn't work I can put a tail on it it'll make, pl- plug you, it in yeah you're making you're you're doing the thing that everyone talks about like making every moment kind of count you know like having a good time and, and enjoying the experience of what life throws at you and that's really cool I, I think that kind of just goes in suit with what you do for work doing production like. Uh, so what? So you work. You work at Urban Artifact slash Radio Artifact. There's mm-hmm. a big. De- Urban is the more venue slash bar, and then Radio Artifact is more of like the radio. Uh, entertain- could you explain that? You could probably explain that. Better yeah. Than I could. So long story short, uh, Urban Artifact is the brewery. They they make all the beer, and we were the production crew for making the shows go pre shut down. Yeah, yeah. Shut down. We no longer are a thing. We had been making Radio Artifact as like the radio station and like it was kind of a thing that we were doing. Yeah, I do remember the starts of that. But yeah. once we got into the shutdown thing, it was like, okay, well, if we're going to make this be a thing, let's make it be its own separate thing and make it be a sustainable thing. So we leaned into record label, live recording, broadcast, and archive okay. is basically the uh, direction that Radio Artifact now is that is separate from urban artifact of the brewery. Yeah. We, we are still a facility. We've got our live performance studio in urban artifact. Okay. Uh, but it's where you guys do like shows and right. And where like, we're doing kind of like, like, like this where it's somewhere. our studio. It's yeah. where we're broadcasting. Yeah, from. exactly. Okay. Yes. Very cool. Which is a separate, you say a separate building entity. It's a, we're a separate entity. We're in the same building. Like, okay. Okay. So, okay. You know, we, we, we share a space, but we're essentially doing two, kind of completely separate functions yeah. that also overlap in the sense that when we get so, to have shows, we get to have people. So what would you say? So for urban, you were the production like manager, you, mm-hmm. you, you kind of ran the shows, sound lighting, all that. So what uh, would you say you do the, all that for radio effect as well? I assume. Yes. But I assume you have a little bit more responsibility with that considering it's more of an artist based thing. So my role at this point with 
radio artifact is that i'm one of the co-owners of okay. it okay and okay, yeah. uh one of the designers for what we're doing like the whole room renovation and things like we drew that on a napkin and like yeah we we made it be a thing and that's awesome that is the that is the message yeah i think that radio artifact is or i myself anyway am trying to get out is why we're doing this which is draw your dreams on a napkin like everybody who's yeah. like gone somewhere and done something <laughs> they scribbled on a napkin some thing yes dude. and then you go and do it that's kick ass that's a and great anybody philosophy. can do it anybody literally. anybody can do it i took this room painted it put some art my friends art, mm-hmm. my hats i've collected for years which are from i got so many different stories about these hats and i just oh no doubt just did it you, know? you just do it and to be able to say uh we just happen to produce shows. We just happen to be a record label. Like, that's what we are just kind of happen to be yeah. doing at this point. Uh, and we're providing a solid thing for artists to come in and, like, play and perform. And here's, like, a bunch of digital assets. Yeah. And a live Which album. That, that's the thing that people don't normally, like, as oh, yeah. a venue especially. Like, yeah. they don't do, like, you see, like, the, you know, the big festivals. But no you know, place individually is taking responsibility to, to get cameras on the, on scene, get good mm-hmm. recordings and then publish it in, a, in an accessible way. Yeah. Very accessible. In, way. Like, I, I've watched immediate. many of them. Like hey, thank I, you. I, I really do enjoy them. Like, uh, uh, I, and obviously when bands I like get on there, like, um, uh, we just, uh, we did uh, a video for Jess Lamb. Oh yeah. I recently. love Jess. I yeah. love Jess and, yeah. uh, uh, Chris and, um, Warren. They're, they're, they're all great people. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful family yeah. and friends. Awesome. I love them. They're awesome. And so, but, uh, I seen their show mm-hmm. cause I, Oh, I, I know, I know them. So I'm going to watch. Yeah. Tune in, check it out. See what friends, it is. You know, check it, check it out. And I did. It's just, it is very, very cool. And it's, it's, it's its own style and, and, and individual thing. And I don't see anybody, as within our, at least within our eyes reach, doing mm-hmm. something uh, like that. The only other people that I know doing anything quite like what we're doing is Monster Peace Theater, like Jason and oh, Chris. Oh, yeah, Jason Betts, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. They, and they're some of my dearest friends. Like, yeah. we've talked back and forth about, like, well, this works for us, this doesn't work for us, we do it this way. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, we trade notes because we have we, we're doing it for why the same reason yeah like we just happen good. to be like trying to make some cool stuff for bands and to be able to make it so that audience people you know yeah it's absolutely. accessible and, like, and that's a good point to make is just like um talking to other people that do the same line of work within your region because like you, like you said you have the same goals yeah so might as well be friends with all of the other be things and hang out maybe do some projects together and you know different things like that i think that there's uh i don't know if this is too like macro uh scopic here but uh just being friends with the other things around you that are kind of like you but like you're never the same thing as something else no, like yeah yeah unless you're gonna be like an X chain restaurant, this, and then X chain <laughs> restaurant that across the street, like <laughs> gas stations are across the street from each other. But like, you know, you can tell that they're fundamentally different. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> there are many differences. We all have different journeys. Yeah. We all learn different things, uh, but collaboration makes those efforts. And changing life experience with other people. Like I'm curious, like I get to be here in this cool little space that you've built here like this is a cool little studio like <laughs> Dude, thank you I really yeah it's that. got, that's it, why i built it to have people yeah like it, you come talk, it ticks like, all the boxes for like being a comfortable place to come and like hang out and podcast like yeah. good job on building a neat studio well thank you i really do appreciate that i i love i i very well enjoy when people compliment that because that yeah that was the goal it's cool and you me. scribbled it on a napkin Yes, and then dude. here you built it because uh, uh, you. See, mine was like, a whiteboard, but yeah, same yeah, thing. Same you scribble thing. it on something, <laughs> and there you go. I love it. It's a good. It's a good mentality, dude, and it, it is exact when I have. I mean, like, and to keep yourself busy, like, like, uh, um, some people have different routes, so a lot of people do multiple different things. I think mm-hmm. that's where I'm at, and then people, some people will focus purely on one thing and just like right become a master at that. yeah specialist is cool man like yeah I dig that. and i like i'm into that but there's also uh 
I, f- I found more value in my like expanding my skill sets. Just the master like, none take. Yeah, like, but being like reasonably good at yeah. most of them, yeah, like, yeah, for I sure. think there's a, a certain amount of like, well, I'm not gonna go and like, I I'm not rigging like that. Somebody else is gonna like. That's an entire like brain space that somebody else gets to go do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because that's like somebody could really get hurt. Yeah. Like, that's a really serious thing to if do. If you don't know, yeah, what you're doing. Then yeah. Just uh, like, you don't know how to work on your car, take it to a car mechanic. I, I would rather safety first in all of those, like, situations. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, like, yeah, can I come, like, run a light show for you? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neat. Like, you got a board and, like, a patch sheet and whatever, like, whatever the thing exactly. is. Like, I know how to ask it questions and make it do stuff. So, when you, so at Urban, you, uh, when the shows are going on, you are the guy behind the board. So, you're, and so you run. So, the way we've got this set up right now, basically, our, an, an overview, I guess, of our system and process is mm-hmm. between Andrew, Tetrick, and myself. Which I met him at that festival. Yes. That really uh, cool. he, he's basically been my best friend and, like, co partner and, building from DeVita House to okay. uh, Radio Artifact. Uh, so he handles basically the audio side of it. Okay. And then I'm doing basically the whole booking coordination. I'm running lights. I'm setting up the cameras. Okay. I'm like organizing everybody. And then during the show, I'm also running the video, cutting the video live and doing lights okay. and making sure that the show happens yeah. approximately correctly. I put together the pre-cue list and just kind of keep the whole thing organized. It's a bunch of stuff to pay really, attention to. Yeah, man. No, I'm at one time. I'm with you. Yeah. And um, we're doing. We're. We're. I don't. Know, I don't know if we've talked much to you about this, but we're doing a, a, a film right now. And I. I know about a film. We have how many people we have working on it? So me. Mm, mm, mm. So we have four people, like really, like taking on like the production side of things. So Very like, cool. Ca- camera lights, directing assisting you know different stuff like that and then we have mm, 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 i think eight total people in the in the film itself acting including myself i, I kind of share a lot of like overall roles just like right 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 you know, right s- scheduling and you know a lot of that same there's a stuff. lot of like yeah uh so many things you would administrative never guess, side right? of just trying to keep a production organized and, and, and dude it, getting older and going from somebody that's just purely like an artist doing art, uh, having fun doing it too. Like, okay. Like at some point, like you gotta start taking yourself serious and like getting out and doing yeah. the thing. Serious enough to be able to say, well, yeah. and, and same having like, fun still coming from, Hey, I want to be like a rock star is th- that, that is like this, the, the grain at the center of my like mental snowball of like trajectory <laughs> is rock star. Got it. Uh, to oh well how do i utilize these skill sets to help other people uh be able to do a little something something like yeah and that's a that's a you know very very good quality to have yeah if you can't willing to give what you have and i i I think compliments to you as well and like there i've got actually a lot of there's the you know uh grumpy sound guy uh yeah. thing oh, but dude. then I, like that grumpy director <laughs> i know a lot of production people that are some of the coolest nicest people that i could hope to know that are just like yeah. no look the truck's unloaded we have to do this and then we when it's done where it goes back in the truck it, the same way like, it came out <laughs> yeah it's like this isn't a question it's, we know what we signed up for yeah that's it, the deal it's doggy dog <laughs> most organized craziest formatting of things i've ever seen dude because it's yes you drag everything out in an hour oh, you yeah. set it up then you put it all the way in an hour and the show's the same amount of time it's if you can crazy. take a, a show in a box that, that those are my favorite bands the ones that show up and have a show in a box that they deploy they do their thing and it's not always like physical objects you know yeah. it's like their character and where they're coming from like within themselves yeah to be able to show up unpack that box be that thing be that thing because you are that thing yeah. that you were trying to sell like absolutely and that you like that is coming out of you and then at the end of the show you pack back up and then you got to be like your regular little self again uh even though none of us are ever our regular little selves no yeah we we, we got we all have multiple personality disorders <laughs> dude people are weird man it's great i i absolutely love getting to like interface with people yeah it's like 
this. Check this out. Like we're doing a, a, a TV we're, show thing. Like sitting, this is know, what this looks sitting, like. There's three different cameras looking yeah. at us, and we're like, talking to each other. You guys can't see this. It's fine. It's, yeah, you can't see all the stuff. Like I might take a tour around. The, the yeah, room one day. I, I think that'd be nice. That'd can, be I, nice. Can, can I can I take a picture of you them? You can totally take a picture of them. So no, I want to show what you guys look like, and this this is some weird stuff that. Like, doing the show the way that we do the Plum Jam show, Yeah, I'm looking at multiple screens. I've got a bunch of different cameras and a yeah. bunch of different, like, menus. Like, it's like driving a, a helicopter thing. Like And making sure it all is getting piloted. It's a bunch of weird stuff. Here, let it's... me take a picture of me. <laughs> and let's take a picture of you. Oh, and here, here's, your, here's your microphone. Hey, there we go. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. Here's a picture from here. That's what you guys look like <laughs> with Will. That's what I. That's what you guys look like to me, at this moment. It's true, and that I think that is what fundamentally makes us different uh, as far as like venues go, because we're a recording studio first yeah. and foremost. Okay, yeah. Recording and broadcast studio. That's the main function. It's a bonus. It's an extra that we get to put people in the room and let people come in and like share this time with these artists yeah that, like we're cutting a record right now yeah no like, literally and i've seen your um um where you drop them all as uh, um as Bandcamp, right it's on Bandcamp. uh we, we put everything on Bandcamp, but yeah. then it's also available on, on all your other yeah on all your preferred streaming platforms you yeah, can find anywhere. radio artifact it's, it's, it's uh much more streamlined keep it streamlined keep it simple like make one little dashboard for all the things and yeah uh be able to engage an audience in a different kind of way. Like it, it's talk, talking to cameras. Like we've usually got camera people there. Mm. Uh, so it's like you're, you're engaging with people and we're engaging with the show the same way. Like you go and do a podcast. Like it's a video show. Yeah. Like, which that seems a lot easier too, because like on set, like it's about being quiet for us movie makers. Yeah. And there, like, because you're getting the sound directly from, like, from the music, and, you can kind of be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And you won't and hear it, like, it, weird Yeah. And it, it, it's got a little bit of fluctuation. Yeah. There's like dynamic with having even just a couple of extra people in the room that are like checking out what's going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. Which you've had. You, thing. You've said, start, you guys have started having people uh, come mm -hmm. back in as live audience. We've got 50 seats is our general setup yeah. right now. Which I think that really works well for you guys. I mean, I've been in there with mm -hmm. packed, crowded rooms for like, right. for, for awesome shows. Mm -hmm. I've seen some really, really great shows at Urban. I will say it's one of my favorite places to go. Excellent. And like hang out, like see shows. The beer is awesome. Uh, they, those guys are like wizards, man. Yeah. They make all kinds yeah. of, uh, stuff that nobody else in the world is making. And I think you guys are also just willing to like, to allow like these different experimental artsy kind of, uh, bands and musicians. And well, you guys do more than just music too. Like you, I've, I've seen that you had a movie, uh, screening. Oh yeah. We do and all like kinds a, of movie screenings. Like we do, a uh, Q and a uh, kind of stuff. Yeah. Q, Q and A's. Uh, and I seen Mark Borison did like, mm -hmm. a, what was it? The sweater. Fest? We did sweater fest yeah, this last year so where like, I, him. He's, he's got a new oh, podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah down at the jungle gyms. gyms. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, awesome. yeah. Mark Shout Borison. Good job. I love that guy. Yeah. Look at you go. You know, it, it's funny that, um, I, I've got to be friends now with like more filmmakers and people who are on the, the video side of it is new to me. Yeah, so yeah. I'm coming from like doing sound initially, uh, playing bass, got a little PA system. Yeah. Uh, friends found out I had it. Let's do some shows with it. Had to learn how to use it. Got more PA system. And then it just kind of snowballed. Let's make this from, sound good. <laughs> yeah. Snowball from making, uh, you know, just me wanting to have a band to, okay, cool. Well, now we're doing shows for other people and now we need i need electric if i don't have like ele enough like extension cords to plug everything in then i can't like make a perimeter for everything to plug and yeah it, so it's like, sound yeah. system i need electric and now i need to light it up somehow and then i gotta learn stuff about lights and like now i'm t You're, doing video and live streaming and it's like well now i gotta learn video yeah. and Here it's I a natural am, yeah. evolution of like learning how actually cameras work and like yeah. the difference of like lighting and soft lighting and like all these yeah. other things that I've never thought about. Dude, I never thought, yeah, I never thought that it was like as technical as it really gets. Until but, I started trying to consistently produce the image that I wanted to see. Yep. You had to learn uh, techniques. Yeah. You got to learn there. That, that's a, a funny thing about any and all of this tech stuff. Like 
I think that part part of the reason that probably I'm even here at the moment uh, is less about the techie stuff that I do and more about just having like an attitude that makes things easy. Yeah. Uh, cause, uh, yeah. Cause I, um, I, I asked you to come on the podcast while you were playing bass with, uh, oh, yeah. just mountain. That's like kind of, yeah, we were connecting and stuff. Cause it'd been, it'd been a year, yeah. a year or two, a few years since I'd seen you maybe like last time I was at urban. Yeah. But I just, you, you just, which you play. Music. I do play bass. I, I play bass. Like I, I'm not a virtuoso player, but like I, yeah. Play, I, like I play pretty good, all right, man. but no, I, you're good. I, I've got facility to play yeah. stuff, but I'm not. I don't know a hundred songs. Like as soon as I don't need to know a song, like they're they're Disappears. gone. Like yeah, it's it's not that that's not my like driving force. Yeah, to, but, like and that's what's cool though, is because I really didn't. I knew you play. I, I assumed you played music for all this time. Yeah. I've known you, but I never like seen you play and play out and like so yeah, it kind of set a different set in my mind. Like oh, he's he's a killer musician and. A lot of that, like, like I noticed a lot of people that play music and a lot of like people that play sports have mm-hmm. this like this drive to just like set their mind into stuff and just oh, yeah. run with it, man. No, execute, maneuver, go. <laughs> Literally, that like that that is legitimately playing a song or what it like if you you're gonna play it again to like the tenth of a second, like it's get gonna be it exactly down. that same thing. Yeah, get and. and and but that I thought that was very cool to learn about you. Um, hey. You used to play. I, I also learned you used to play in a band called THC. Yes, with uh, my cousin Tom Friel. Uh He's currently out and about and playing uh, nice. as the band For Real. But uh, For Real. Yeah, back in the day we were. Uh, Is it T- for the number four? The number and then, four and, then, and real like you're fishing. Oh, A R E E L. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I've seen the name before. I've never seen. I've never heard any music, but I've yeah, seen the sure. Name. Enough, straight ahead rock and roll. Like it's a good band. Like. Uh, I, I love being able to say objectively about uh, my friends and family that you like their stuff that I like what they do. <laughs> I'm very, I will say, I'm very narrow on like the stuff that I like, really like, take in as content and listen oh, yeah. to. But I'm all about the the life experience and, and going and for seeing sure things. Check it firsthand. out. Be open to things. Like here's yeah. a little bit of time. Let me just be open to whatever it is. Yeah, literally. I mean, th- that's literally how I started like in um, uh, Sunday drives. And oh yeah. Adam Lee and, uh, Oh, I love them so much. Dude, Good job. Adam and Nick. Adam I love Nick, you guys. Yeah, they're great. They're great dudes. Um, I, but literally I, I'd heard about Adam for years, mm-hmm. Sunday drives for years. And then, uh, I seen him once and I was like, oh, okay, this guy. and then I just, every time I seen him, I'm like, it just, it just grew in this like love for it. And oh, like, yeah. that's just, that's such a natural, cool way to like, you just like, you're trying to fight it, man. You're like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, okay. I like it. <laughs> man, they're such like, they're, they're another like set of individuals that like, they're just good at that. Like yeah. they just do something and they do it really like good. Yeah. And seriously. I, I love that about Sunday drives and Jess Lamb and like the factory and the Siri. And we've got so many amazing, wonderful, like friends, like in the community that are like actively trying to be positive. Yeah. And using their like drive to make changes best we can, it's- or at least set an example of like, man, uh, musicians, like there's a lot of like legit, that's a funny thing about like, the fame that comes along with it mm-hmm. and getting to deal with people in those positions, like running sound and stuff like, uh, or being on the production side, like, man, you get to just meet people that they're just people yeah. and being able to, uh, set that equalizer just flat. Yeah. So that you can just like work with people. Be a human being. Because it's like, man, you know, I want to fangirl over like Jess and Siri every time they're around because it's like, dude, you guys are so good. Seriously. Then it's like, uh, but then like Chase is in the band and he's playing bass and it's like, dude, you're so good. Like, (laughs) man. Like, I just want to fangirl over all my friends all the time. It, literally. That's what I do and, when I bring people to this podcast. I'll fangirl over you. I, hey, I'm a thanks. huge fan of right you. Right back at you. Like, <laughs> I came here. <laughs> it's seriously, it's, it, it's, it's, it is that. It's fun. And just like before this, we got to have like a cool conversation. Yeah. You know, like just hang out and talk about whatever the thing is. It, it's, I think that just being present with people is, I mean, what, what more do you need? What, what more is there to ask? Yeah. Like, just, 
be present and let's talk about whatever it is or like when we're done with it we're like yeah we can be like all right i'm not talking to you anymore well, and, <laughs> and, and, yeah and like it's it, it, i'm going over here now it's like that sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you know but you know and that, that's a general like social con- contract it's, i guess that i think it's just uh i think it has to do with people's awkwardness too, yeah and just their you know like it takes exercise days, like man. i don't i don't know about you but like i i, I have to act i exercise talking to people like huh. i would rather like sit at home and be quiet by myself but i've got to interface with a lot of people yeah. all the time oh uh, no i practice i mean yeah i think i consider this practice honestly. this is practice like in interfacing with another yeah. human being it, like, in a uh it's like a force caring it's way. like a force myself to talk to people it's, it's, yeah it's, it's, like, it's kind of funny if we're here we're sharing that. time we've got something that we've got to get done yeah exactly yeah but it's that, that's just that our our drive of like look we've, there's a lot to do like that yeah. we're talking right now mm-hmm. but when we're done talking you've got to get the cards out of these yeah uh, I gotta people here check the audio I gotta, and then it's got to get line like there's an awful lot of work that's about to go into yeah. making this thing be a thing and then the like the editing uh placing all the, the little banners and filters yeah and no stuff. It, it's yeah. a silly amount of <laughs> it really is uh work to do and that honestly that's what has driven me into like making plum jam the way that we do it yeah. is like I just need this to be done like live, and like, like you said, a single dashboard. A, you got all your stuff set up right there, ready to go. Everything's got to just be like ready to go. We're gonna cut the thing and action, and then we all play and play our parts, and then at the end of it, we've made a live album. Yeah, and it's Literally. also a TV show, and it's like a live music video. Like it's, yeah, uh, it's everything in one, man. The only thing like, and like I said, you guys do do. Besides that, you have all those other live events you throw, but mm-hmm. you also have on the side of Radio Artifact the, uh, the top like you have like shows, um, like I know Ken Haynes. Oh does yeah, a show. and then and then so Radio Artifact, we're also a radio station. Literally, yeah. ninety-one point seven WVXU HD two. Uh, we're partners now with WVXU, the oh. like they're the NPR affiliate. Like yeah. we play that stuff, and it's like man. And that happened relatively quickly. That was relatively like early on in the like Scott wanted to make a radio station, and then we, yeah, yeah, there it was. And then because you would think that would be like one of the harder things to accomplish, yeah, considering and, the day of digital age, you know. But I, I think just the immediate positioning of like, oh, we're just gonna make this cool little like stockpile of like tunes that are gonna play and have a couple of cool shows on it, and immediately. We got to be friends with an actual radio station. Yeah. Who I listen to all the time. Like, that's, that's I, I that's listen right to 91.7 most about. of the time. Yeah, that's right into that attitude you're talking about. Just being open and willing to listen and, like, be friends and just taking it all and, like, yeah. just be open for it. And you might like it, you might not. And whatever it is, though, you're present well it, being present with it and being able to be uh conscientious of all all those like social things they are relationships yeah like every one of those like points of people that's a relationship that we're like absolutely we have to care about it together yeah and i think that there's it's easy to disconnect from that and mm-hmm. kind of like lose the humanity and Get like bo- singular like, with yeah. your thought, like thinking about like, Oh, well, this is what I think. This is what I think. Or just like trying to get something out of somebody else all the time. Yeah. yeah. Like that, that there's like odds lopsided social contracts that like, well, what if like we just give you a bunch of stuff and then in return, we get to have a good yeah. time. Yeah. Try not to take yourself too serious. Yeah. Like with this, um, uh, I don't like necessarily go out and look to book all oh, the best profile like, guests. No, I just I have my cousin on. Yeah, like, th- I, like I, five, six times just because he's in our movie and I it, I love the talk. People to are around guy. like this is long form content. Yeah, just, like let's we're, just have we're, some fun. Yeah, just talk and 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 just do whatever you know we see as fun. And if I think doing a you know random podcast with whoever, then that's that's the what I'm gonna do. It's neat to watch and listen to. It which is, is uh, a nice thing about it. And being able to just keep that conversation moving and uh, reasonably productive and or at least interesting to listen to. Yeah. Interesting enough, because sometimes, man, we talk about some dumb shit. I, you know, <laughs> that's the fun thing about conversations is they can go in a lot of different directions. Oh, like, everywhere. 
you know, having a, a, a band on and I never quite know what exact, you never know what people are going to do. Like yeah. people are super unpredictable. Do you ever listen to the bands like music before you get them on? Oh yeah. You- most of the time. Yeah. Uh, most, I, and I've been doing most of the booking for the last little while and yeah. it's, and I've done it before, mm. but now I've hit a capacity where immediately it was like, Oh, I need to like completely f- structure a format for like how I'm interfacing with this many for people the, yeah, and keeping all of my like data sets straight and kind and, of stylizing with them too. Right. Like yes. for, for the show itself. And it's really open to kind of what the band's vibe is. Yeah. I, I think. Exa- um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then there's me, the other side of it. That's kind of like just there trying to make it be a good time or trying to like, facilitate the whole thing yeah. in a casual way that is also not um objectively obsessive yeah, if because okay. i feel like it would be easy to like uh dehumanize the whole thing i've seen a lot of sound guys do that from my, my and, and especially for like my position within the situation that running lights i'm doing the video like i'm keeping track of everything like interfacing with the artists like i'm making uh event pages and like coordinating the whole thing and then like i have to be present during the show to play the lights yeah have positivity and also be talking to these guys like through everything right and making sure that the whole thing goes and just being very like patient and caring with everybody about every little thing because it would be really easy to get like real snippy and like yeah a way about things which i you know i understand when people get that way for sure yeah I'm, uh, I'm still learning to because like i my goal is to get yeah. to that point like you're like you're talking about and to just be just purely it's, it's fine yeah. we're gonna get whatever the thing it's is gonna happen right and not to say that there's not like time to say hey blah 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 yeah uh if, if it's a safety issue then hey blah 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 hey you're like, gonna catch something on fire yeah there, there's <laughs> somebody's gonna get hurt stop what you're doing immediately yeah uh Yes, but as, there's that. Yeah, like there's that side of it. But just the and and again the uh, social contract of dealing with and interfacing with people. It takes exercise. Like all all these like wonderfully famous people that are like out on the red carpets and so on. Like, dude, they go through that too. Like, yeah, they, you know, they're running monologue in their mirrors. Yeah, for hours trying to make sure. Okay, so don't trying say to like make sure the thing's right. But it's they get to be. The same thing for being here right now. Like I'm here right now for some reason that is the world brings you because of like of uh, various skill sets or what happens stance of like social positioning. Yeah, that, that and just things happening just yeah collectively through. Or you were like that guy. I did do that. Yeah, that yeah. was part of it. Now forget all of that stuff I was just saying. It, it was is, it is part. You of just that. like plucked me out of like nothing. Uh, there you are. <laughs> that one. I'll take that one. Well, and it is kind of like that because I obviously want to talk to people I find interesting. You know what I mean? So how do you go about like, uh, is is that how you just get everybody on here? You're just like, hey, come get you. You there. (laughs) You you look like you'd be nice for a conversation. So so sometimes it's in person. Sometimes it's through a message. It's through like a very nice like, hey, would you like to come on and, you know, have a conversation? Most people ask. What's what, the, what is it? Yeah, yeah what's I, the deal? What are we doing? I'm like, it's a showcase show where I, I'll ask you a few questions. We'll kind of just shoot the shit and have and go multi- from there. multiple conversation. Yeah. I like to, I'll sometimes show video of like their okay. stuff. Y- yours are big hour and a half long live stuff. So I was like, eh, oh, man. a little harder to show that. But, you know. It's, no, and I, I'm sorry I didn't uh, give you a little snippets to throw in oh, there. Yeah, but it's tr- see, like live events. I love live events. It's right there and then done. It's it's, it's done. When it's over, it's done. Yeah. Now, as soon as we're crossing over into like post production, that was the thing that bogged me down immediately. Was it, like, it will too. dude, I don't physically have enough hours in the day. It takes a lot to and and the turnover that we're trying to do, like we're doing two of these, we're doing two bands per week Oof. without like pushing on it, and that's yeah. like a full recorded like. That's a live album. Yeah, with uh, with your because you do some post, uh, and then we're gonna go produ- back over it and post do some post too. on the audio for the album release. Yeah, but like as a video series, like it, dude, it's good enough to ship. And like, you have pre-recorded stuff that you play before uh-huh. the live event starts. And too. right now we're we 
since we started the live streaming, we've only played things that we've made. Yes. Uh, and or uh, public use or whatever stuff. Yes. So like we're not playing, uh, you know, I'm not just like on Spotify playing yeah, whatever I like should. as well. But it's very cool to like that you guys have made it to the point where like it's just unlimited all the time. Your content. Like, pretty much like that that that's basic that's the gist of what i was trying to get at. but it is cool you can hit all these things and, and it's all original uh created content supporting original artists yeah 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 which is dude that's been my goal with everything since i started on that first show is just mm-hmm. like let's get all original all local all here to talk to show to get it you know and at first, that wasn't my like thing. Like I just came onto that idea. You just just through and, happenstance. And it, that's what you're doing now. And it picked it up, and just like wow, this is you know, it is beautiful. It is like a journey. It is like a you're you're creating like I mean, it's your life. This is our this is our life. It's a uh, so I interest fun fact. Uh, <laughs> so some years ago, I said to myself, well, in some capacity. Uh, as a measure of success, like for my in in, in my own mind, mm-hmm. it's like okay, well, I want to work with uh, Kiss and Bootsy Collins in some capacity. Yeah, like, any capacity. Those are like the two entities that I want to have any some some connection to with like and he, perform some function. I can see that you're a funky bass player. I forgot and, to mention they're funky. But it was right about that time that Bootsy announced his like funk university thing online. So I signed up for that. Okay. And then uh, I ended up winning a bunch of the competitions and like because I didn't know what it was going to be and like you had to kind of like interface with it through like make little videos and like okay yeah there were kind of little assignments and like about, prizes kinda. sometimes. And I just happened. There were a couple other people that were like really pretty good at it. That like I think got the idea of what we were trying to do. Mm. Uh, but then through that, like, and him being from here, it was like, okay, cool. Well, now we're just friends with Bootsy because yeah, uh, I, that's cool. And like his son comes around, like yeah. he's around all like oh, yeah. It's and, and again like happenstance that like hey I signed up for this thing and then years later like now I'm just, we're just like friends with him. Yeah, like, uh, cause I think you did a show, um, Freak Bass, and, and then right? Freak Bass, like, man, being a bass player, uh, he's one of the local cats that I would go to his shows. Like, yeah, I, I, back in the day, it was like, well, let me go study Damn. this guy. So that was literally like a dream for you, like, for him to yeah, come dude, out he's like one of my on like your hero production bass. Yeah, wow, and and it's neat, cause like we text. Like that's very cool. Like, like you said, it's human, we're friends. Man. Like, like yeah, it, it, it you can't is be fangirl all the time. You gotta it's relationships human. with real people. Yeah, and because celebrities are real people, they're real people, <laughs> and you know, all of these people around the world, real people. It's crazy. Not robots. <laughs> uh, so, like, I do like the production stuff. That's mostly my thing. But mm-hmm. I, I've been watching like video series on construction worker, like different things yeah, in the yeah. construction trade and like electricians and plumbing and civil engineering and how the infrastructure is put together and that now I'm into like a medical thing and it's just like man all these professions that like that's anybody in any profession that's like helping the infrastructure and take care of other people yeah like that's a lot of jobs literally that's yeah. like most jobs is it's, you're it, you're helping taking care of people literally and it, it is a thing that's a, yeah man that's a cool point that you made it's because that's, that's something that's overlooked a lot of times like uh you know go say thank you to your buddies that build houses say thank you to the like you know you for making a podcast thank you for like making this oh, thank you yeah, for yeah. like tuning in and watch and like looking at you're, this yeah well because it is a and like i have uh i mean that's things i'd like to showcase too i mean like like i said any and everybody like yeah uh the, like life experiences it's don't get me wrong there's some things i don't want to go do like yeah uh, my fiance, I, we go back and forth all the time. Like, uh, Venetia will say, oh, I'm going to do this. And I say, I don't want to do that at all. <laughs> I'm going to do this other and thing. sometimes at first you say that. Yeah. And, and then, then, and then eventually I'm it. like, you're right. <laughs> we do need to do that thing. Don't we? I love that. And, and you gotta just, have somebody like that too around you. Somebody to talk you into things, man. man. Uh, yes. And to keep me grounded enough that, uh, I, I'm one of those, uh, 
unpredictable. Like I never quite know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh, it's usually like pretty chill, whatever I'm up to, but, uh, you know, doing the suspension, like why not? Like I'm tattooed all the way up my arm. Like yeah. that was, it, it wasn't like I just thought about it one day and it was like, well, I, I can do that. Okay. Uh, and, and, and it, yeah, it's a, cause that's a, that's something that's very, you know, um, I would say, uh, alternative, like, like very alternative lifestyles, also, like yeah. the, the normalcy of what is supposed to be perceived. Uh, I, I'm, that's another, like, I guess, part of my belief structure for how I go about life yeah. is whatever your thing is that you do, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, like reasonably, uh, have fun with it. But at the same time, like I'm here, if you need to talk about anything or whatever, like being supportive with our friend, like I try and tell people that I love them all the time. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many times I've you told you. Told that, yeah. To me a few yeah. times. I, I think I've said it back. Yeah. I try, I try to give back. Mo- most people in. do say, I love you back. Uh, that's a good, that's, but I, I, I try to tell people that I love them all the time because you just never know what somebody else is going through. And like, even like they're just the growth of self. Like I, I had a time when like, I couldn't even like look at my arm. Like I had to like wear sleep, like the, just the mental health and like depression and all those things yeah. that go with life of like, I'm not going to do it. Not, yeah. uh, nope. Not, nope. Can't do it. Uh, being able to be supportive and hopefully caring towards anybody and especially yourself. Yeah. I think that's like the biggest thing that I've got to, I'm so I'm 34. Uh, and it's enough life at this t- point in my life that I found that I get to say, okay, I can, here's how I feel and be objective about it and be able to communicate with somebody else still from a caring and patient place while acknowledging like, Hey, you feel I've got this feeling a bad, uh, not a good yeah, feeling either. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm upset or whatever the thing is. And still taking from the lessons you've learned with being positive. Right. And, and trying to just have a, a, a caring attitude towards yourself. Yeah. While exchanging it with other people. It makes people. it so much easier to just like breathe out. Uh, you have less of those look back moments where you kind of re- regret the way you treated people. Right. I can acknowledge how I felt at a time, but then I can look at how I'm actually just treating people and yeah. dealing with, myself yeah like because we all get mad at ourselves we all do stuff that's like oh what was i thinking yeah who was i being right then it's better to it's better to talk through it than to have an outburst and ruin those relationships that you're talking about because that's what they are they're it is our our entire like existence is where we're social creatures like we're unless you get to live like on uh wherever your land is and like (laughs) you're just the only person there there. (laughs) uh living off living off probably you made the decision to go there that or some other guy was like we're putting this guy over here (laughs) just like you made the decision to be the production manager of radio artifact just like i made the decision to be uh the host of this podcast and you did direct movies and talking to me music. talking to you is this what this is called this is what this is called this is Ta- what this is ttm tty go check it out talking to you talking to me yeah i mean you're already checking it out what am i talking about you're here yeah no we're already here like you guys have you guys are on tripods yeah there's nothing they're, where are you going they're here we're here <laughs> Dude, Devin, thank you so much, man. Well, thank you so out, much dude. for having me on here. I'm glad that we got to talk about whatever yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We talked about a lot. I feel like it was a pleasure. It was very, it was, it was a pleasure. And you're very, you're very uh, passionate and good person. What can I say? I care about like doing stuff, and I care about you. And thank you for having me on uh, talking to me, talking to you. Well, fuck yeah, man. Thank you very much. This has been talking to me, talking to you.